the myth of the laser guarded room. But already this myth is looking shaky. Well, we've done quite a bit of research to find one of these visible laser systems like you see in the movies. But in that process, we may have busted the myth outright. It seems that we couldn't come up with any laser systems for alarms that incorporated this visible red laser. We've seen the movies. Our martial arts anarchist flips his way through the bright, visible lasers, knowing that one broken beam will set off the alarm. But according to Grant, these glow-in-the-dark lasers simply don't exist outside Hollywood. So our mission controller has had to fashion a working alarm system using laser pointers. But he's added a plan B. The thing that they have in real life are these. And these incorporate infrared beams. And they are beams, just like the laser, but these are invisible to the human eye, which makes them much more difficult to overcome. So the room's got the fake lasers, and then the real deal, the invisible beam alarm. But they both work on the same principle. How this works is uh, there's a transmitter and a receiver, and if you break the beam, you set off the alarm. And the job of beating Grant's beams falls to Tori and Carrie. The first technique to get past the laser beams is probably my favorite because it's the most absurd, but I think it's going to work. It's the Catherine Zeta-Jones blow the powder into the laser beams so we can see where they are technique. Well, it sure worked for Catherine Zeta-Jones. In entrapment, she blows cosmetic powder onto the lasers, and suddenly they're lit up like Christmas. But is makeup made up? Powder test? Definitely helps. Blow by blow, the lasers do start appearing. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's great. But then Carrie gets carried away. Let's get out of here before the cops come. <laughs> she blew so much powder that the fine particles were enough to break the beam. They reset and try again. And although Carrie squeezes round some lasers, the powder is making this myth turn to dust. <laughs> Once I had the powder in the air and I tried to get through the beams, I still had a problem because the minute the powder settled, all of a sudden I'm stuck in a weird position with no lasers to see, and I have to go for the powder again. So powder is busted, but Tori wants to try something else that was also featured in Entrapment. I'm just so excited, man. <laughs> I know, I know. I just no, want me to... too, me too. As well as the powder, Catherine Zeta-Jones was helped by her sidekick, who could see all the lasers clearly thanks to a night vision camera. But can equipment like this really make lasers glow in the dark? Well, Tori's got some military-style night vision goggles that should be perfect to put this myth to the test. Okay. So, all right. Cool. Okay, you good? Yep. All right. Thanks, man. What do you think? Let's see if this works. The goggles work by infinitely intensifying the amount of light, even in a dark room like this. What does it look like? <laughs> what? What? What do you see? It seeing? looks like it looks like bright sunlight in here. It's like every hole, every window. It looks like it's a bright sunny day outside. <laughs> this is sick. Thanks to the goggles, the room's aglow. But there is a drawback. I cannot see the beams though. All I can see are the points where the beams are hitting. But you can't see any of the beams, so that doesn't really help you much. No, it sure doesn't. Night vision goggles to help you see the laser beams, totally busted. It actually makes it harder to get through the lasers. So what I have next is a device that what I'm going to do is stick a laser into the receiver, and hopefully I'll be able to break the beam of the uh, existing laser system and not set off the alarm. It's another trick from Entrapment. By shining her own lasers into the building's laser beam receptors, Catherine Zeta-Jones bypasses the laser alarm altogether. 
Well, the real difficulty with this laser substitution technique is getting his beam on the correct axis to intercept the photoreceptor. If he doesn't get it exactly in there, it's not going to make a perfect match and the alarm's going to go off. It's a delicate operation which fails miserably. Just lining up the new beam is enough for Tori to trigger the alarm. All right, let's try that again. So for take two, he tries coming in on an angle. And what do you know? I think you're doing pretty good. That looks like it's pretty centered. Cool. Now I can rob the place. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. They've beaten the visible lasers, but been sprung by the infrared. This is why you don't see laser systems anymore, because they're easy to defeat. You see the laser, you can either get around them or introduce your own laser and disarm the system.